All right, what is up, everybody? Coffee and Gaming 24-7. I am someone better. Today, we are going to go and look at my indoor farm. Yep, indoor farm. So why at night? Because it is fully lit. No creepers, nothing. Nothing ever comes close to this thing. I've never seen one anyway. Um, okay, so real quick, this is the farm. It's all indoors, fully glassed. It is 21,000 wheat made in survival. Still in survival. Trophies are accessible on this map. Um, the water is just on the top layer, and it runs down uh, like six waterfalls. And what happens is, as the water is passing all the dirt, it saturates it. So, making less of a pool for me, but just nice... Oh, just five waterfalls, actually. Runs all the way down. Saturates them all. There are... The wheat is sectioned in three. Rows of three. And it goes down a hundred. So each little section is 300 wheat. There are... T there are... Ten, 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 ten. Ten sections per layer. And seven layers up. So it makes it 21,000 wheat. It is fully seeded, fully enclosed. Let's go take a look. And you saw it was night, and you couldn't even tell from the, from the farm because it's so bright. And it's bright because every single ceiling and floor has a layer. Oh, let me just cut through here. Of jack-o'-lanterns. So the water saturates it here, both sides, and the jack-o'-lanterns, top and bottom, keep it fully lit. This stuff grows so fast, it's ridiculous. So let's go all the way to the top, and there's no stairs or ladders or anything. I don't really like making excess staircases and hallways and stuff like that. I just want it to be a straightforward farm, and I actually came across this by accident. I was making just one row of three. And I accidentally put dirt down, and it went. It landed on top of the wheat. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe I could just build it upward. So I did, and then I went bigger and bigger. And this is where I, I stopped myself at seven layers. So here is the top. This is what pretty much every layer looks like, except for the waterfall. Um, did I? No, good. Um, that's pretty much it. It's not even that bad to fall. You won't die, even if you don't hit water. That's the farm. So that's... This is what 3,000 wheat looks like, if you ever wondered. That's 3,000 wheat. Times that by the seven layers that are here, you get 21,000. So let's just do a little bit of it, just so I can show you a little bit of the hidden features of my farm. So I have to always reseed. Um, if you ever wanted to check out this farm for real and you have PlayStation, just um, send a friend request to X, someone better X, and that's me, and I will show you this map. Um, okay, so I reseeded. I have all this extra wheat, and I did this because with 3,000 wheat per layer, you're going to need some um, containers, some chests for the, for the seed or for... The wheat, what are you going to do with all the wheat? It's going to, you're going to have to run all the way back down. So what I did was, on this waterfall and the end waterfall, on the other end, I made run all the way down. So what I do is, I take my wheat, and I just chuck it down there. That's it. And all these seven layers are the same. So I'm going to jump down. And then go down here. And what I did was, see I kind of made this on the ocean so it was a little bit harder. But the afterthought was I need a filter. So I made one. There it is. This entire stone section in the middle 
filters all a bunch of water all to the center, which then drops it into this staircase coming down. See, that's the actual wall that's keeping the ocean out, which was here and over there. And it all comes down this to here. Ah, where did my wheat go? There it is. I beat it down here. Oh, it's because I jumped. I normally don't jump down. But there's the wheat. The wheat will flow all the way down to here. And usually, if I'm doing the entire farm, I need someone down here to collect it and put it into these chests. Yes, all of these chests. Those chests over there are all bread. Um, here's where you can make the bread. And I think there's some bread here. Yeah. So... Here it is, right on time. Should be about 29 of them. Yep. And then you would take them and make a crap load of bread. And then throw it in there. Done. So that's pretty much the farm. Um, I can go back up and show you again, or you can just watch the video over. But it's, it's pretty big. It's not my biggest one. I'll be making another video of my biggest one so far, uh, which is pretty much double the amount that this one produces, but it's not an indoor one. It's more of a stadium style one that you can hook up to be automated, and it makes over 50,000. But this is pretty much it, and it's fully lit all the time, fully safe. Uh, that's why I like it so much. Because nothing can get you in here. You can work it any time you want. And there's always plenty of food and work for everybody. But it is in survival and it is a legit map. I don't like making that kind of stuff in creative. But that's just me. Um, so that's it. I'm going to just show you the outside in the daylight. And then that's the end of the video. But that's it. I like the way it looks too. It took a little bit to get it right and to furnace all the glass and the wood, but it kind of looks like a shopping mall or something like that. But that's pretty much it. I think for 21,000 wheat, it doesn't take up that much room. Um, 7,000 bread or two double chests worth of bread. So there it is. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe.